Six, a Detroit man's long hike to get to work at Oakland County is shedding new light on transportation problems. Now, some people say James Robertson's story has become one high profile example of the region's failed transit system. Tonight's 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn takes a look at the issue in Rochester Hills where Robertson goes to work. Getting here from there can be a struggle for many who use public transportation, including James Robertson, whose story has brought new awareness to an issue of importance to the region. Robertson works at Shane Mold and Engineering in Rochester Hills, but he lives in Detroit. Because he doesn't own a car, the gap in regional bus service requires that he walk 21 miles a day to reach his job and then get back to his home. And it's a debate that we've had here over the years. A number of communities have opted out of the smart bus system over the years, including Rochester Hills. But according to Mayor Brian Barnett, his community of more than 70,000 residents is served by public transportation. Residents in our community have passed a millage to support public transportation, but we do it for a, a local group called the OPC. Um, so we, we don't participate with SMART. The group Transportation Riders United is calling on Rochester Hills to once again become part of the SMART system, starting this online petition to reach elected officials here. Uh, as our residents deem uh, uh, and give us direction moving forward, we'll absolutely take that lead. We are not anti-public transportation, um, but we found a solution at the moment that works for our residents, the vast majority of our residents. As a result of this story, public awareness of the issue has certainly been elevated, and this much we know, the debate over public transportation in the region will continue. In Rochester Hills, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.